Batman Endgame Chapter 2 The worst part is the sound. No matter what version the end takes, no matter how it happens, whether it's Harvey with his twin bombs, one fission, one fusion, or Lincoln with his neo-talons, or a mutated King Croc, they're just nightmares, Bruce. Visions of the end, brought on by Crane's Cassandra strain of fear toxin. But they feel real because of that sound. The one there in every version. Mocking, not coming from Croc or anyone, but coming from the city itself. Who did you think you were? What did you think you were? The sound you're afraid will be there in the real end. Cold, empty, laughter. Superman, Clark, listen to me. Whatever he poisoned you with, you have to fight it. You have to break through. <laughs> break through. Nothing at all from Clark. Hi, Bruce. All he sees is a target, not the slightest flinch, just glee. All right, Bruce. Time to fight for your life. You like the knuckles, Clark? Each pod contains microscopic red suns collected from dead solar systems with the aid of Dr. Ray Palmer. I call them my red giants. Now you're going to shake this thing. <laughs> red giants? Even if I have to beat it the hell out of you. So, Bruce, who wins in a fight? Batman or Superman? <laughs> nice try, but this suit is equipped with plasma shields to deflect heat vision. Thrust and thermo to counteract your freeze breath, and if you come near me, the knuckles will do the trick. So go on, Clark, take your best shot. <laughs> Bang. Don't, Bruce. You forgot. The suit was designed for battle with Superman. But Superman has limits. Lines he'd never cross. This thing the toxin has turned him into. If he wants to kill you, there's likely nothing on Earth that can stop it. <laughs> up, up, and away. Oh, 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 where are you, Bruce? Clark, listen to me. Clark, don't do this. Don't. <laughs> oh, there you are. Clark, please. This isn't you. It's him. And he, 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 he says, beg. Ugh. It's a butadine-based synthetic rubber, a polymer laced with radioactive kryptonian dust. Alfred calls it kryptonite gum. I keep a pellet in the suit's helmet. Who wins in a fight? The answer is always the same. Neither of us. The toxin in the Justice League is just a more vicious version of the original, with pathogens individuated to each member. For Vic, there's a rubberized microbe that makes killing the virus with a charge difficult. Barry, there are magnetized filaments. He neutralized them broadly and specifically. He's been planning this. But they're faring all right. They're faring. They're at Argus headquarters, where they're being treated with a quinolone I developed, a broad-based antitoxin. They're responding, but it'll take time. Four days, maybe five. Five days, nearly a week. A week with no Justice League around the world. If anything should happen, if some maniac should... I know, Alfred. He's planning something big, which is why I have to catch him. And why you need to get somewhere safe, both of you. Somewhere, Master Bruce. I hope you're joking. You're not well, Alfred. And you know when it comes to him. What he did to me last time. I know you're not at full strength right now. You need to... No, 
That monster, when he attacks you, he attacks us all. This family. My family. We haven't been the same since last time. None of us has. And if you think I'm going to sit by and... <coughs> Dad, take it easy. You want to stay, Alfred? I'm not going to fight you. But at least rest. I'll be fine, sir. Now, if you'll pardon my language... Go get that bastard. All right, then. How did he get to your friends? I'm you. I'm on the next plane to London. Like you said, this isn't your fight. Hey, I told you I'd help you until my father was better, and I meant it. Hell, you don't even know how to use my windows yet. Here, let me... Julia, this man. Joker. Bruce, I work for the SRR. We know who he is. I know what he's done to you and my father and I'm staying to see him broken. Now, how? The League isn't together many places. It's policy. The Watchtower is one of the few locations, but the defense is there. Any charities they do. We were after a guy last year who put uranium in schools his targets were visiting en masse for charity. The Gotham Children's Hospital, last month. So where is he? Where do you think he'll hit you from next? In his own twisted way, he sees himself as serving Batman. He thinks he makes Batman stronger by challenging him with his greatest nightmares. He sees himself as Batman's friend. He used to, at least. But after the last time we fought, if I can glean any meaning in this first attack, it's friend-turned-enemy. No leads at the children's hospital, so here I am. In the entire city of Gotham... This is the place I hate most. My allies must think it's Crime Alley, but I've seen that place change. I've seen good there. This place, though, this doorway, cell 0801, where they keep him when he's here. 801, the eighth and first letters of the alphabet. A coincidence, or someone's idea of a sick joke. I don't know, but this place never changes. After last time... I'd hoped I'd never... I hoped. Batman? Are you all right? I'm fine, Mr. Border. You should be at Arkham Manor. I imagine Joker's return has stirred up the inmates. It has, but I saw you on the news and the... the Jokerized heroes, and I just... I guess ever since I started working here, I've been waiting for this to happen. They're all so afraid of him. Mr. Border, Eric, I understand you care about the inmates. You want to help them. I do want to help, and I think... Listen to me. He's not crazy. He's just evil. Now please, go back to Arkham Manor. The thing is, you're right, Batman. When I first arrived in Gotham, I did want to help. It's all I wanted to do. I wanted to help the inmates at Arkham. I wanted to help the city. I wanted to help you, most of all. But then I saw that there wasn't any helping you. Because you don't see a helping hand, even when it's right in front of your face. What did you say? Eric, what are you doing? Did he get to you? He... <laughs> you really don't recognize me, do you? <laughs> I admit, I didn't think you would. There were the muscle relaxers, which wore off just a little while ago. Hard to keep my face this way, I admit. The pigmentation, too. Do you know how much half a melon a tide and such I had to take? Today is just makeup, which is why I stood at a distance, but still. Of course, there's the new mug. <laughs> the name, though. Eric, which comes from E.I., which is Proto-Norse, meaning eternal, and Rikes, which is Gothic, meaning prince. And border is a homophone for border, which is an obsolete word for jester. My God. <laughs> <laughs>
No, 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 no. So, brats, you miss me? <laughs> the gas getting to you. It's a little paralytic I cooked up here. I know you immunize yourself to so many, so it's something special. One part of a combo. A pear. You. Oh, yes, it's really me, Bats. <laughs> I've come back to see you one last time. See, before, though, that old game I set up for you, it was done out of care. It was meant to be a comedy. But then you dropped me off a freaking cliff. <laughs> and so, I'm afraid that this time... Uh-oh. <laughs> You won't be able to move when it all starts. You'll be aware of it, of course. The first infection. <laughs> the second. And third. <laughs> the party growing. You'll see it happening. But I'm afraid you won't be able to do anything at all. <laughs> oh, sounds dreamy, ah. See, bats. This time, no more games. No more jokes. I'm just here to close up shop. I used to think we could have fun, you and me. Um, but no. Now I know you better. But here's the funny thing. Me? Hmm. You don't actually know a thing about me, do you? I'm still a total stranger. You might pretend you know me, but deep down... Oh. <laughs> You'll see, though. You'll see soon enough. <laughs> no! Yes. Time to slit the goat's throat, old friend. And I promise you one thing. When you come out of it, everyone in Gotham, the whole city, <laughs> will be laughing at you.